see it is shutting down. And let's see. I probably should go ahead and plug in my phone. Here we go. Sorry about that wiggling and a jiggling. It's Monday. Makeover Monday. I think my battery will be okay on my computer. It's at a very small. Line. I found it. Okay, so if I get up real quick, like, and mess around with, with this, um, oh, okay, so goodness, gracious, quick, like, mess goodness gracious, goodness gracious, sorry, and mess with it, it'll be because my computer tells me I need to plug it in. I've been instructed not to leave it plugged in all the time. <laughs> I took it in, and all the things they said I shouldn't be doing, I've been doing. <laughs> So I'm trying to learn new behaviors for my computer. Anyway, it's Monday, Makeover Monday. Okay, I'm going to show you the inspiration. I want to show you what we're working on. In case you didn't see the 30-minute um, reminder, let me clean my glasses. They're hard to see out of. So I have these pictures. I got smart, and I sent pictures to myself because I started working on it last night so that we're not here an hour and a half, you know, watching paint dry. So this is the item. Gotta wait and see if you can see it. Okay. This is the item that I picked up. I, I, it's, it was a day that I thought I was going to walk out empty handed. And then I decided to go ahead and go back oops, and grab this because um, I had just seen something on YouTube that I thought I could make. Kind of, it was an ins the inspiration for doing something with this. And what I saw on YouTube that look at how cute that is so this is something that a young lady made on YouTube um, and I want to make my own version of it so this is what I've done so far it's red now I painted it um, and the reason I painted it red instead of blue was because I went through my stash of craft paper and the only thing I could find that I could use today was blue. So I got, I had one of those big, you know, big square 12 by 12 sheets. I think they're 12 by 12, you know, for like um, creative memories for your, for your book. And I laid it on top. I laid it inside here and then I just kind of creased it along the circle. Let's see. I don't have a piece of paper handy. I'm just going to push it down until I had a circle, and then I cut the circle out. And so this is what I have. The other side is light blue, but I'm going to use the dark blue side. And since I had blue paper, I decided to paint this little guy red. And I've, cut, I've painted this side, sprayed it with shellac, let it dry, and I painted this side, sprayed it with shellac. This part right here has three coats. It took three coats because it was a dark gray pan. I didn't, I did two coats on this side. It wasn't so, such an emergency to do more because, um, that's going to be the back side. This is going to be the front side. Uh, I took my crocodile and poked a couple holes in it right here so I can put a hanger on it when I'm done. Okay. So all that's left to do now is put, do something with this. I want to put some stars on this and I have a star that I need to paint, and then I'm going to put USA on it. I have some twine. I'm going to put a little bit of twine on it, plus make a hanger out of that, and that'll be it. So I'm going to um, change the angle of the camera, do that thing right there with the phone, so you can see what I've going on down here on the table. So if you tend to get dizzy, close your eyes. I'll let you know when we're there. Okay, here we go. I had to wait for the computer to catch up. Let me go down just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, it's ready. Now, 
One thing I didn't notice when I um, was poking holes in these, I just I put these two here. And then when I started painting, I noticed there was a hole here. <laughs> so I could have just done one more hole, but that's okay. I'll just use these two since they are um, they're not quite even, but they're there. So the first thing I want to do, and I didn't, I didn't get my Mod Podge. And since nobody's here right now, that I know of. If you come, if you join me, please say hi. Let me know you're here. I forgot my mod touch. Gotta have the Mod Podge. <laughs> so, um, plugging my glue gun too, so I'm gonna need that as well. Let's see, I'll need a little paintbrush so I can paint the star. So I'll paint the star first, and then I'm going to um, chalk on there, and then I'll chalk on here. So the first thing I need is my I'm using Waverly chalk paint, crimson. I'm not going to worry about the back, so I'm just going to paint one side. Because the other side is just going to be glued down. So we don't really need to worry about painting that side. So I'm going to do the top and I'll do the... Well, I might just leave the sides. The sides are a nice brown color. They'll go good with the twine. So I'm not going to do the sides, just the top. I feel like patriotic stuff kind of needs that natural color in it as well. Just a preference I have. How about you? Do you prefer just all red, white, and blue, or do you like having natural wood colors in your patriotic stuff as well? Oh, that was my dad downstairs sneezing. So this won't take long. Yesterday was Mother's Day. Happy belated Mother's Day to the moms. You gotta tell me, did you get spoiled? at some point over the weekend. And if you did, even if you didn't, whether you did or didn't, what do you consider being spoiled? Is it having a meal cooked because you always do the cooking or having the dishes washed because you're always stuck with it? Or is it just leaving you alone? Everybody leaving the house and leaving you alone to, um, Let's see. I don't know what's going on with my computer. I'm hoping that we're still going. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. Now I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to add some stars to it. And I'm hoping and praying that everything's still going. I guess I could open it on this phone and see. Since I've taken my computer to Geek Squad, I've had issues with connectivity on my computer. So, and if it's going to be interfering, I'm going to have to go back and see them. Yep, because it's still going. I see it's still going. Okay. All right. So, here we have this blue paper. I'm going to take this star right here. It's a good size star. And I'm just going to randomly look at this. I'm already a mess. <laughs> going to randomly. So I can see a little bit of what's going on on, the, on Facebook. If you comment, um, I probably won't see it because my computer's frozen. 
Um, so I will check the comments afterwards. So do me a huge, huge favor. Say hey. Let me know where you're watching from. And um, I'll say hi back after I'm done here. Okay, so I already wrote on the back because I've used this one last year quite a bit. And honestly, it's not that it's not so horribly sticky that I really need to fuzz it a whole lot. This can be done on paper. If this was brand new, I would really, 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 really be fuzzing it. Really be fuzzing it. But um, it's not. I used it a ton last year for patriotic stuff, so it's not that sticky. So, if it's new, you want to fuzz it a lot if you're going to use it on paper. But yes, you can do this on paper as well as everything else that we do. So I'm just putting a little star here. Peel that up. Put a star over here. Wipe out the air bubbles. Whoops, I almost smeared it. Put one there. Let's put one over here. If it lasts through the whole circle, that'd be great. If not, I may have to walk in there and rinse it off at one time. Okay. Let's put one right over here while I let those dry. Okay. Do over here. This stuff can be used for scrapbooking. It can be used for quilting with our ink. It can be used for just about anything. I'm not pushing down really hard, I'm just being really gentle. This is lasting a long time, than, longer than I thought it would. Sometimes when you use them over and over like this, the paste will get clogged up in the screen and you have to go wash it and dry it really good in order to keep using it. But this is doing really well so far. I am very pleased. with how easy this is working, going easily. Oh, look at this. Let's put one more right here. Lots of stars. They go over the edge, that's okay. Oops, gotta be careful. I think that's good. What do you think? That's a good amount of stars, huh? All right. I'm going to Just gonna spray this a tad and set it over here so I can wash it when I'm done. I just placed it on top of the backing so that the paste doesn't get all over everything. It's all over me already. <laughs> all right. Quite a mess. All right, so I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna dry this just a tiny bit. It's just a piece of paper that we made into a nice, perfectly starred round circle for this. It's not going to go in there perfect, which is why I'm going to go ahead and add the twine because 
I don't cut well. <laughs> you can give me a line to cut on. You can give me a paper cutter, and I cannot cut well. I, I don't even know why. My, my I just don't. So that's going to go there. So what I want to do is get some Mod Podge. And then spread it around. Okay, that one on the side there. Oopsie. There we go. Let's add this. Oh. Since I'm adding the twine, I probably won't have to, you know, like have it perfectly glued down. But I am going to add some more down here. Like that. Add some more right here. Boy, my computer is still frozen. They had me do an update while I was there, so you know, it's probably the update that's causing the issues. Okay, take that little glob of this. So this is where we are so far. And then I'm going to take this, and I need a little bit of wax. I'm just going to take a little surface wax and put it on here. This will give you a good clear, um, a good, this will give, this will provide a good surface for a good, a nice clear, um, you know, transfer of the design as well as, um, protect your paint from coming up with, with the sticker and prevent your transfer from getting ruined pulling up all the wood, little wood fiber things. So that is why I put a little bit of wax. And then we're going to do USA. And I was just going to do the lettering, but I think I want to do the whole thing. Partly for the stars, to go with the stars, and also to have a little bit of stripes in it. Now I'm just doing this in white. I didn't fuzz it, uh, partly because I forgot to, but it's okay. Because again, I used this a lot last year. And so, um, it's not as sticky as it would have been had it been a new transfer. Here we go. Ooh, I almost put that in the wax. <laughs> Peel this off. See that? USA. I'm going to spray this a little bit. Hi, Linda. Your comment just came through. I guess my computer unfroze for a second. And, um,. It's frozen again. Okay, so we'll dry this. Now I got a little bit of chalk paste on it right there. No big deal. I'll just cover it up. There we go. There. Okay. Now, I need to find, so here's the top, 
So I want to put it this way. Right there, like that. Okay, and then the last touch to it will be this. I think I'll start on the bottom. This is not taking an hour and a half. That's so exciting. <laughs> Did you see that? My, my glue gun. Somebody must need it. So this is a little $2 find at Turning Point Fifth Store. So in the paper I had it home, and the star I had it home, and the paint I had it home. So it's very inexpensive. And we have this adorable, oops, wrong direction. Adorable, patriotic, I have to concentrate while I'm doing this, <laughs> patriotic decoration. Again, I'm sorry if you're just coming in. I'm not ignoring you. My computer's frozen. I know it's still going because I can see it on my on my work phone. Shh, don't tell anybody I'm using my work phone. <laughs> so I can see it on my work phone. So I know it's still going. I just can't see the comments. So I will I will respond as soon as I'm done here. I'm doing just a little bit at a time so that I don't make a mess of it. This could have been done, gosh, in white. Could have done this part in white, that part in red or blue, and then put, you know, red or blue stars or stripes. I mean, there's all, whatever you'd like to do with it, you can do. 
That's the great part about crafting is you can crafting and making your own things at home is you can do it with your own personal touch. Any way you want it. Okay. Goodness, I think I've taken every pair of scissors I have into the other rooms. So I'm going to do something I never, ever thought I would do. Use my... Yeah. <laughs> My transfer trimmers. I can cut a tiny little bit more off. inside there and then push that down so that they meet at the edge. There we go. And then we take a little bit of this. This, I was amazed at how easy it was to um, cut it, you know, to pop, poke holes in it. All I did was use my crocodile. Okay. Tie a little knot. How long do I want to make it? Make it about that long. Another knot. Oops, I guess I better put it through the hole first. <laughs> that would be helpful, I think. It would hold it better, that's for sure. And there we have it. So, we went from We went from, let's see, <laughs> I have to open this. We went from this, this was our inspiration, and this is what we made. And that's it. That's it for tonight. Quick and easy, and um, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, this inspires you to hopefully, oh, thank you, Linda. Take that step if you've been considering doing the same kind of thing and going shopping and finding things and redo them. Okay, if you are um, watching replay, please put hashtag replay in um, the comments and let me know where you're watching from. If you're on YouTube and you like what you're seeing and you want to do shopping trips with me and everything else, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell once it pops up and you will uh, be notified every time I upload my shopping trips and these makeovers. Okay, good night everybody. Have a great rest of your Monday.